record. Maybe this time. Hi. Welcome to my tire side chat. I just got my blood did. Because I'm an old man and I got to go see the doctor and he gives me my back pills. And he's got to check my cholesterol. Uh, now I'm behind all these cars. Do you hate that? I think oh, if I just pulled out of that parking spot two seconds earlier, I could have jumped out in front of those cars. Now I gotta follow all these jerks. Mm -hmm. Traffic drivers. Yeah, no, I had to go get a, a blood test done. Uh, I've got a follow up appointment with Dr. Wajda, who's the doctor I've been going to about. Um, vitamin levels, neurotransmitter levels, and all that stuff. Uh, cholesterol, I'm trying to address that without taking statins. And a number of other things. These people are driving so slow. Yep, so I was just checking my blood. It's uh, December 5th, Tuesday. It's now 6.54 a.m. My appointment at Quest Diagnostics was at 6.40, which is nice that, that I can go in that early because, you know, at this point I've already been up for a couple hours, and it's nice to just be able to go in early when there's hardly anyone there, and then, you know, in and out in 15 minutes, and, which it wasn't even 15 minutes, in and out, and uh, on my way to work actually still get to work on time. Not that anyone cares. I just kind of... I've got it pretty easy. Danielle and I were talking about that the other day and like how stressed out she is at her job. I was like, well, it's nothing like your job. Your job's pretty stress-free. Like, yeah, most of the time. Most of the time, it is. I get, I can get to be very busy even when I'm really busy, generally not stressed out. There's a difference. So, fortunate. And, yeah, and I, I say that my working hours are like, well, actually I have, officially I put 7 to 4.30, but that's typically about when I'm in the office or when I'm active. Though, so somebody messages me on Teams pretty much 24 hours a day I'll respond, you know, and if it's from like 4.30 or 5 a.m., between 4.30 and 5 a.m. and 10 p.m., 9.30 or 10 p.m., I'm actively looking at my phone my computer. Is that some kind of fire? Oh, yeah. I forgot what I was talking about. What else can we talk about? It's Christmas season. Yep, December 5th. We are three weeks away from Christmas. Oh my God. And then it's gonna be January. I'm liking the fact that it's officially cold outside. I got, I'm back to my my nice winter coat and attire, matching attire. Don't have to run the AC all the time. Back to using our using our new fireplace to insert the uh, it's all gas, which you know now that we've got solar panels, electricity isn't so much an issue anymore. And, and gas is expensive these days. Uh, although it's, I think it's, we'll see, but it's still typically cheaper to run that gas fireplace insert than the uh, central heating. But we haven't had to run the central heating very much. I usually have that kind of set to like 65 all the time. And, you know, it's warm. 
warm enough in the house. Uh, at least the kids don't really seem to complain. Maybe, I, maybe they just aren't complaining. Maybe I need to ask them. Are you warm enough? But we run the... I get up in the morning and I turn that fireplace on. And after like 30 minutes, at least in the, the front half of our house, it gets pretty toasty. Yeah, and it's supposed to be very energy efficient, so... Mm. Uh, yeah... Oh, what else is going on? Went to the dentist yesterday. Tomorrow I've got bowling again. My shoulder's doing a little better after bowling three days straight last week. Although, yeah, last week it was Tuesday. I went to the bowling alley on my lunch break and bowled two games by myself just to practice. And then Wednesday I practiced I went to this new league that I am in with someone at work and her boyfriend and another friend of theirs. There's four of us on the team. <clears throat> I think I'm going to be on that team full time. And then Thursday, I played on another team that I, I sub on. I have been subbing on for uh, another lady that I work with. Uh, though that, that league is <clears throat> a pretty competitive everyone on that team is pretty good but yeah, it's I prefer the Wednesday night thing it, it's, it's just the one time I've gone it's been more fun so I'll probably be doing that looks like for the next nine weeks I guess or ten weeks we get Christmas week off we don't have to bowl on Christmas week so yeah that and then what's it Thursday night we're going to <clears throat> our niece Emma uh, the Polynesian Club they're doing a, an event dinner event and dancing uh, all the Polynesian dancing Mahula and then she's gosh how old is she now four it's her first performance so we're gonna go see that on Thursday and then Friday is uh, Danielle's stepdad Chuck it's his he's retiring from from teaching at City College, and uh, they're having a retirement party at their house, at, at Deb and Chuck's house, uh, that night. And it's supposed to be like 75 people. I don't know where all these people are gonna go, or park for that matter. They have to park like half a mile away and walk over to their house. Probably would have been better if they had that at an event center or something, but we'll see. Should be fun. I still gotta get him. Got him a car. What do we get him for a retirement present? I don't know. What do you think about that? So many things to do. So much to think about. What else is going on? Bitcoin hit 42,000 yesterday. Just promising. Crypto's doing well. I went and saw my dentist yesterday for my appointment. And, uh... You know, he, it's funny because I go and see the dental hygienist lady who I've been seeing for like 20 years or something, and she's talking to me, and then he comes in, and he starts talking to me, hey, Bitcoin has hit 42 today, and Celestia is looking good, I think it's going to hit $10. <laughs> she's like, what are you guys talking about? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, we, we, we text each other, uh, every other day so it's been almost every day lately about crypto and you know there's only there's only a few of us that you know in our circle I'm like I'm the only person he has to talk to about all this stuff and I think I've got like two or three people in my life that I talk to about crypto um, and then everyone everyone you talk to who's into it is like into completely different facets of it or it can be or you know have their own different outlook on it it's kind of like kind of like how when I describe working in IT or, or like becoming a doctor in the sense that uh, 
Uh, it's like oh, when you become, you say, oh, I want to be a doctor. Oh, okay. Well, do you want to be a, a pediatrician or uh, a neuro, a neurosurgeon or you know uh, what? Be more specific because that's very vague. Um, this crypto's not quite that specific, but some people are into just like day trading. Other people are just looking for good coins to hold long term. Other people like me are more into like mining and that aspect of it. And, and then, you know, or, or mix and match and all three and then, uh, and then like fans of certain coins or whatever. Uh, uh, but, uh, all right, well, I'm at work now. I guess I'm going to head in. I had to fast this morning for uh, that blood work and I haven't eaten anything yet, uh, which is okay because it's only 7 o'clock. Uh, and I brought, I've got food, I've got a banana and brought an apple and I got some leftovers from the other night here some salmon that I barbecued and then rice probably have that for lunch today it's pretty good yep good healthy food I'm trying and yeah and I'm trying to do on Strava that exercise app uh, there was a 100k December challenge, like run 100k in a month, and I'm at four. I was at 4k as of like December 2nd, uh, and then I ran on the treadmill yesterday morning. I did a mile and a half, which um, what's that? Two and a half k. Uh, but it didn't count. It. it didn't count running on the treadmill, even though it counts in my Fitbit app. So I'm like, well, that's a bummer. So I guess I got like I have to run outside or there's something where I've got to record it in the Strava app. Um, it's not only running outside because uh, the air quality is a bit crappy in the morning. So all the people in my neighborhood and our, that whole side of Fresno uh, burning their wood in their fireplaces. And, uh, and I've got, oh, there's another thing I did. I installed, so if you go to purpleair.com um, and look at, it's the air quality map, the real-time air quality data. Uh, you'll see my location on there now because I actually bought one of the Purple Air devices and mounted it outside of my house and it monitors the air quality right outside my door. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it was like, what did I spend on that? Like 240 bucks. It's pretty cool though. Ooh. Getting notifications about Bitcoin hit forty two thousand three hundred. <clears throat> All right, seriously though, I'm turning the car off and I'm going inside. Have a great day, everyone. Bye bye.